So did you guys move old cars last night? Yeah, we night? were taking all the cars yesterday. We moved all over to the storage facility. Oh, yeah. We were going to the cars next door. We were going to the cars next door. Oh, it's just weird. It was, it, it was fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, Eddie Collins back here for Hobby W's Magazine, and I'm here with Charlie Link, the organizer of the second annual Dealer Takeover. Dude, this, first of all, fantastic show. Thank you for having us. And uh, I'm telling you, every year, I was here last year. It was awesome. This Thank year, you. even more awesome. Thank you. How did this come about? So I put together an event at Doheny, Doheny State Beach, where um, we gather a bunch of air-cooled Volkswagens once a month. I started doing it like about three years ago, just uh, randomly. I was hanging out at the beach, thought, you know what, let's have a bunch of Volkswagens come to the same place in a place where <laughs> everyone enjoys the beach, everyone enjoys the community of Volkswagens. Yeah. Um, and then I got together one day, the, the general manager of this dealership, Capistrano Volkswagen, was riding his bike by and he said, hey man, can you get cars to come to my dealership? And I said, how many do you want? <laughs> yeah. And since here we are, since here we, yeah, that's this, cool. This is what Very we got cool. now. Yeah. Now I'll tell you, if you guys haven't been to this event, let me tell you something. Not only is it well put together, but the fact that it's a free event, you get a free T-shirt when you come. You get free lunch as well. I mean, you guys, this is really cool. Capistrano of Volkswagen has been very generous, but you know, it's all because of the efforts, people like Charlie putting this thing together and bringing in all types of cars. We've got some vendors here. Definitely, definitely cool. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys haven't been to it yet, plan, because I'm sure this is gonna be an ongoing annual event. Every year, every year. Every okay, year. so you guys, now you've heard about the show, why don't we take a quick little tour and see what's inside, yeah? All right, let's Charlie, go. let's go. Let me get the door for you, sir. So tell us a little bit about what we're seeing. So most of the cars in here are rare vintage air, this little club uh, here in Southern California. This particular car is not part of rare vintage air. This is Matt Devine's 23 window double door. Yeah, that thing's insane. It's probably the it. most beautiful restored 23 window that I've ever seen in my life. But, but again, the rest of the cars, rare vintage air. And these are cars that you see at a lot of the, the local Southern California <laughs> events that are almost very close to being concourse cars. They're beautiful, amazing cars. And uh, go ahead and Take a look. Yeah, no, this is this is awesome. Yeah, you know what? Let's go toward the back and uh, tell us about you know some of the raffle items and uh, so we, what else you guys are offering. 
so, so we do have an area here to raffle. So w when you get a ticket here at the event, you write your name on it, you write your phone number, and you just go ahead and drop it in either one of these boxes. You just choose an item that you like, something you're interested in winning, and uh, you just come along the, the edge here and look at these items, place your ticket in the box. Oh, that's cool. And uh, at the same time, there's items to purchase here at the dealership, <laughs> and there's beautiful cars to observe. You know what? I was even noticing, you guys, if you look at the merchandise on the walls, obviously it's themed. It's nothing uh, really modern. You know, you got some cool uh, period correct shirts. And uh, it's also dog friendly. Look at this. Very dog friendly. You know, it's funny. The more and more I go to shows, it feels like you could have a dog show. Where, <laughs> There's all your dog sorts today, of different Eddie? breeds. Yoda decided to take the day off. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> I love Yoda. He has a great dog. Now, this is cool. I'll tell you, it's been really cool to see Capistrano Volkswagen come together and actually cater to, well, the vintage crowd. You know, I mean, it's definitely a they cool thing to do. They do take care of everyone. There's yeah. lots and lots of giving here. So, again, like he mentioned earlier, uh, they give away free event shirts. Um, TK Burger comes here. They're going to feed everyone that brought an air-cooled Volkswagen, and they'll, they'll give them a burger, fries, drink. Um, I mean, you have a Starbucks machine here, unlimited <laughs> Starbucks. Um, there's Starbucks outside. This is actually the owner of the the dealership right here. This is Miles. Hi Miles. Hey Miles, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Eddie for Hobby Debbie's. We're just talking about the generosity of the dealership to actually go ahead and open the doors for us to come and actually be a part of this. So thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, I was here last year. Okay. It was awesome. And yep. so being here this year is is uh, fantastic, you know, and it seems to be getting more and more popular. Charles makes this event so great. You know, and we've... we've I became a Volkswagen dealer and bought the store 26 years ago when it originally sat next door. Oh my gosh. Uh, old Bill Yates Volkswagen location. Oh yeah. And, um, Ooh, Bill Yates. And I, you know, when I went out to get, that was my first dealership. It's my only dealership. Plus we had Mazda next door. But um, just, there's no other brand I wanted because you guys know the passion. I mean, yeah. nobody that doesn't have a Volkswagen story. Yeah. No, that is that is definitely true. Every other store that was offered me was a Nissan store. First of all, I want to... I want to drive what I own. Okay. You know? Uh huh. Very cool. And then just the passion. You know? So yeah, I'll tell you when you talk about passion. I mean, coming to the show and then coming into the dealership. I was just mentioning the merchandise on the walls, the cars that you see, and obviously the people and everybody else. It's really, really cool to see that passion that everybody actually has. Yeah. You know, with all this, we're going to mic you up here so okay. we can actually hear you. Okay. It's it's definitely been uh, you know something that I think that our okay. viewers are actually going to go ahead and think about well, gosh, we could probably do this at our dealership, you yeah. know, and really kind of making this community grow yeah. a little bit more. And uh, it's, La it's been Last year's COVID inventory being so low, it yeah. was like, okay, we could clear a lot because normally it'd be a lot. <laughs> and inventory is still not back, you know. Uh -huh. We have, I think, started the month with um, 90 some cars in stock. We stocked 200, you know. Oh, my so, gosh. So, um, wow. but it's, uh, it's a lot of work and a lot of stores won't. Yeah. They'd rather just buy an ad somewhere and be done, you know. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We've always been... Actually, Gary, my GM, uh -huh. worked for Volkswagen America for 18 years. Oh my gosh, wow. So okay. Bill Yates was here from 63 to 93 next door, Okay. went bankrupt, and the factory didn't let it close its doors. For three and a half years, the factory wow. uh, pretty much owned it. Oh, they wow. had an operator run it because the okay. factory can't run the store. Right. And then um, Gary was a local rep, found mm -hmm. me. They said, we need a dealer for this market. It's wow. grassroots, gets uh -huh. involved in things. Yeah, yeah. And it's um, a very unique, you know, beautiful little market. And, wow. And so that's what we've done forever. We've always had lots of events. We we had, um, actually, my doctor, when the Passat came out uh -huh. in 98, um, uh, they had a Club V4 and a Club V5. Uh -huh. We had three runs, went from here to Lake Elsinore and back. Oh, my God. First year was 20 cars. Oh, wow. Last year was about 100 cars. Oh, wow. And they wanted to stop for a group photo on top of Ortega. Uh -huh. It was 100 degree day. Talk about people <laughs> yelling at you. That right. We're waiting for all these Passats to back you. Uh -huh. like, oh, God. But, but uh, you know, we've that's had so cool. a, lot of, a lot of cool things we do. And, oh, that is that is very cool. But we love to. You. It's all about the cars, the products. So, yeah. any chance we can get involved in a car show. And So, I'll tell you my hot VW story back when so I'm 62, so I was in college. Um, you know, 80, 83. Uh -huh. My um, first car was a 61 Impala. My dad had picked oh, wow. up a factory, and then he died when I was three. Sold it. My mom sold it cheap to my aunt and uncle. They gave, gave it back to me at 16. Wow. Then I really wanted a VW Rabbit. My friend had a 75 used VW oh, Rabbit. Wow. First one in high school. Was it diesel? It was a gas. Okay. And it was, in, you know, yeah. and he put a $2,000 sound system in it. I could still hear <laughs> Van Halen's first cassette coming down the road. 
fuck is that? But I had to be a little different, and I, uh-huh. I was actually selling cars for a little broker um, it's owned by a Ford dealer. Okay. So I bought a brand new 78 Ford Fiesta, which was the oh, next yeah. best thing. Yeah. Ended up in all four of Ford parts. My worst, wife's first car I bought her was a 76 Rocco. I oh, bought wow. it in the rain in um, Oregon. Okay. And it was... It looked like a nice dark red. They said, well, it's a little faded. Uh-huh. Three weeks later, the sun came out. It was pink. Oh, my god! And then my first PW, me. I bought a 59 <laughs> Bug that had a Bug Eye con- Baja conversion. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. And it was really cheesy. It was like a half-ass 12-volt conversion. Okay. So you start up, you know. <laughs> and I'd sit in my college classes bored to death. I couldn't uh-huh. stand sitting through those lectures. And I'd always have hot VWs. And I list everything, and I wanted to make this big jacked up. I did get a, a three-inch body lift kit I put on myself. I guess oh, wow. I'm more of a body guy than okay. a mechanic. Uh-huh. And I did that, and I had to modify the steering column, put some fiberglass seats in. Uh-huh. But I got disillusioned when I realized I just lift out $9,000 in parts I want, and I have really minimal mechanical ability. Oh, so I ended up God. selling it. But on the side panels, uh-huh. on the 59s, have pretty big holes for the moldings. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wanted that clean California look, oh, you know, there's there every one of your yeah. pit, uh-huh. ads. And so it's like, how am I going to do this? So I took a screwdriver, dented the edges a little bit, got bondo on the tube. The holes were a little bit smaller than a penny, so I put okay. a penny back there, put bondo in, That's primed it. It was funny. perfect. <laughs> and it's like nothing cracked because I knew if I, I needed to do something. Uh-huh. I was so proud of that, John. When I sold it, I said, you know, I'm charging $900. This is uh-huh. I really should charge you $900 and 18 cents. There you go. nine pennies on each panel. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, so. That, so that's your hobby W story. I like yeah, it. That's yeah. pretty cool. But I, I just, I enjoyed reading your magazines more than oh, that's awesome. listening to professors in college. Yeah. Very cool. So how long is that? And I'm here with Matt Devine. It's it's funny, we just saw doing? each other in Germany, actually. Yeah. So it's kind of just a trip, actually. Week. I know, just <laughs> last week. And so here we are, and I'll tell you, when, when I saw which car he brought, I thought, I think we're going to have to go ahead and interview him and get a little tour of it. So uh, why don't we go old school here and uh, walk inside the dealership to go check out your bus? Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Huh? I know. Dealer and the dealer. All right. Yeah, thank you guys. Lead the way, man. Let's okay, check it come out. Come on, let's check it it's out. It's going to be cool, you guys. Let me get the door for you. Oh, thanks, Eddie. Full service here. <laughs> all right. This this is incredible. First of all, the show is really, really cool with all sorts of different cars and models inside of here. But this, this is going to blow your mind. And I asked Matt if he could give us a little tour. So, Matt. Take it away, man. Tell us what this is. It's a 1963 23 window factory double door that has a uh, M code options that are that's it's pretty extensive. Yeah, go for it. Tell us some of the M code options. So one of the rarest thing I think is it's first year optional for 12 volt. So it's a factory 12 volt. It came with factory fog lights. It came with a factory 1500 engine, which is the, say the North American package, which has bigger brakes, bigger engine. Uh, gosh, what else? It came, 
Well, and obviously the double door option. Yeah, so, the I double mean, door I, option. I have an M code thing and the birth certificate that right. has kind of all the stuff on it, which is nice. But uh, there's only a few double, factory double doors that are on. I think there's five or six or so on the planet. Yeah, only five or six or so on the planet. Okay, nice. So let's check this thing out because, I mean, I want to hear the story of where you found it, how it came about, and then your obsession with all of the NOS parts that you actually see on this. Because if you ever get a chance to look at this bus, you're going to notice that there's still some tags on it. And where people are like, oh, wow, why didn't they take this off? Well, clearly because of the fact that it is so rare. So, Matt, where did it come from? The, the car came from L.A., and I don't really have a lot of history on the car aside from I bought it in L.A., and it came with another bus, another deluxe that was basically <laughs> cut up. You know, we bought it back in the day of Pomona. I think I, I think, uh, well, Ed, Ed Hughes and I own this car, and Ed Hughes and I went and bought this car. Um, Radium bus owner, by the way. Um, so Ed and I went and bought this car 25 years ago, oh and the, and the car came with a whole nother car, and I think we paid $1,500 for the car, oh. and we drove out to Pomona Swap Meet and sold $1,500 worth of stuff that it came with extra, <laughs> like stuff like. Uh, came with two ambulance fans. I mean, it, it came with a ton of stuff. And I think we gave one of the fans away to our buddy, and I think we sold one for, you know, I think they were big money, 100 bucks back then in the day. So That's so, so cool. we sold a bunch of stuff, and, and the car needed a lot of help and a lot of work. And uh -huh. so we proceeded to buy parts for the thing 25 years ago. And 25 years ago, you could you could find all the stuff new old stock. So we basically bought parts and bought parts and bought parts for it. And <laughs> and it sat for at least 15 years in oh Ed's gosh. backyard, in my backyard, until we finally got it over to, to uh, Dave Schweinhagen uh -huh. in Arizona, who's one of the top guys that does uh, fabrication and metal work. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I've been to the shop, and it's, uh, it's pretty impressive what Dave can do, which is really cool. Yeah, so Dave did... I mean, Dave did an amazing job, and a lot of the stuff, most of the sheet metal was new old stock, including oh, wow. almost every door, front doors, I think three of the four cargo doors, deck oh, lid, apron. Wait, the doors were NOS? Yeah, almost all the doors. And wow. I mean, on the the car's almost at 80% NOS build, and when I mean <laughs> that, I'm talking every piece bumpers, every part to the bumper. The bumpers? Bumpers, oh guards, brackets, um, deluxe trim. I mean, the front you could almost say. I mean, the every piece of bumper, headlights, fried eggs, emblem, uh, wipers, squirters, mirror arm. I mean, it really, really. It, there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of pieces on the on the car that that are NOS. Well, it's incredible. I mean, like right now, just looking at the windshield, for example. Even though for car shows, people clean them and stuff. These look flawless. I mean, flawless. They're not pitted, no, you know. And, and the fact that you drive this thing, that's the other cool thing too, you guys. There's a lot of trailer queens out there, but this, you actually it, drive it. it. It doesn't get driven a lot, but you can't own a car and not drive it. I mean, you have to drive the thing. It, it doesn't make any sense to have a car and not drive it. So, <laughs> right. and, and speaking of driving, it has a has a 1500 O Crossa, so it, it drives very, very nice. Hold up, hang on, 1500. Oh, cross that. Let's, let's take a look at it. Let's yeah, go let's to take the back a look. Real quick. Lead the way. I mean, when you're saying, oh, it came with a 1500, that's one thing, but then you're talking 1500 Ocrasa? Wow. Look at this. That's incredible. Which uh, George Schmidt at the butcher shop did the motor, and it actually runs incredible. I mean, uh, generally buses really aren't fast, but mm. this thing, and I wouldn't call it fast, but this has plenty of horsepower and plenty of pedal, and it really drives very, very good. God, look how clean this thing is. Yeah, George did a, a phenomenal job detail. of the not only oh. the exterior, the but the, the interior, crank cam, the way it drives. I mean, wow. it really, really runs very, very nice. Oh, this is amazing. You can eat off this thing. I mean, this this is definitely, I mean, this this is great for reference if people wanted to go ahead and rebuild something, you know, and just kind of get an idea. It's like, should this go here? And, I mean, this, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless, man. That is really cool. And now, what if, so talking about NOS parts, explain what you got in the back here. 
So it's a small, most of those parts actually went on this car, including the, the steering wheel box. I mean, it was, it's an NOS white steering wheel in a box wow. that, that I didn't even have to repaint. So, I mean, that and a trim ring box and all the other stuff, horn buttons, ashtrays, clock, et cetera, oh boxes there. But gosh. I mean, it's just a small piece of some of the parts that went on the car. Because right. really, I mean, it's very, very extensive, the amount of new old stock parts that went yeah. into this car. I mean, I, I, looking at the windows, point out there's, uh, I think you also had, was it one of the assist straps or something that had the tag hanging around That's it, right? It's this one right here. Check this out, you guys. Yeah, look yeah, at this. So there's the, so I, the I, sticker right here hanging, right here in the tag. <laughs> so there it is, 241-857-613A. Look at that. And then it also comes, the straps also come with a color code afterwards. So it's, <laughs> but that is the, the tag that was on the strap, so. That's so rad. Uh, it's just incredible. I mean, and, and also the fact that it's a double door. Now, one thing that I do kind of want to point out that was interesting uh, when Matt and I were talking earlier were the grab handles on the middle seat. And, it, you know, you would almost think, oh, maybe the, the middle one got pulled on or something. But, Matt, explain the, uh, the evolution of the seat. So, so even going through the seat, I always figured that I'd have to make one. So I started buying parts and pieces and extra stuff to, to actually have to have one welded up and made because I didn't think I'd find the middle seat. And then uh, I think Greg Nova actually like contacted me. There's a guy Graham over in England oh, had yeah, yeah. had uh, had the actual correct seat with the the correct year and everything over there. So I ended <laughs> up finding the right middle seat. But previous to that, collecting parts and pieces, I collected three NOS uh, top bars, <laughs> and I I had assumed that they're all the same because mm -hmm. you would just kind of assume that it's uh, right. divided into three, but actually the middle's slightly wider and has the, the different bend. But, Isn't that something? But prior to getting the right seat, I, I just assumed that it would be three of the same. Right, right. Yeah, like cut into equal parts. So it was nice to get the actual correct seat. I mean, you always try to get everything you can, but you, you never know. Right. No, it's, it's incredible. The other thing, too, is that the seat, it's what, technically... Two years, 62, 63 was the only year that had these uh, that has the, the flat grab handles. Yeah. And what's what's kind of fun is that it's the same thickness as a grab handle on your dash, which is kind of Correct. cool. And it's actually the same exact material. Yeah. The same. Uh, and even the grab handle, all the grab handles were new old stock, the three, because it takes three. Normally it'd take two, but it has the, for the <laughs> other true. side. But all three uh, grab handles were new old stock. Oh my gosh. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Now, it's interesting that there is no radio. Granted, this thing is completely deluxified, if you will, but no radio. You know what? I, I think originally it had a radio because it had okay. a spot for an antenna. I'm, uh, okay. I, I love a block off. And yeah. So I just kind of I just opted for the block off opposed to uh, the radio and the antenna. So I just I just think it's so clean with it the, is clean. With the block off. Definitely, definitely clean. Now, the other thing, too, that I think is really cool, Shin, if you can see the sticker on the window right here, even the glass, you guys, with the NOS sticker on it i mean how cool is that yeah and obviously this year i mean sigla this glass is just unbelievably clean and sigla always makes me so nervous when installing it because you look at it wrong and it cracks <laughs> I put a lot of skylights in. Uh -huh. I don't think I've ever cracked one. I think I cracked like three of them putting it in this car. Oh, and it's like, gosh. you know, you think like you can push and evenly push. And yeah. I, I think I'm pretty good at, at assembly, but uh -huh. guess what? This one was a little <laughs> frustrating. So, and hey, that's the way it goes. But this yeah. glass, typically you look at it wrong and it cracks. So it, it just really is tough to put in. Unbelievable. I mean, it's, it, it is pretty interesting. I've always said that I've always wanted to see the video of the guy at the factory that was on the line knocking just these things like, out. And if that yeah. guy was just like, you know, going home just with the highest blood pressure ever. I mean, I don't think I'd want to have that job, man. No, Especially no. installing the pop outs too. I mean, that'd be crazy. But back to yeah. your bus. I mean, this, this is something else. Also being that it's a 63, Look at the emergency, uh, the emergency knob there, which is so clean. Just all of these details are so, so awesome. Now, 
I mean, after something like this, Matt, I mean, you know, it's like winning the Super Bowl, let's say, right? I mean, what, what's next, man? Aside from going to Disneyland, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously you go to Disneyland after winning the Super Bowl. Right, right. right. So I, you know, th this car, like for me, like parts hunting and everything is a big part of my passion, like mm -hmm. looking, and it's always the hunt, and I love the hunt, and so it's, it is a little tough when you kind of finish like assembling yeah. everything and buying all the parts, but it was, it was definitely a build of passion, because, because putting on, you know, buying these parts and looking for all the pieces, yeah. and then putting it all together was really, to me, was, was special to kind of put the piece in it for a journey. Goes. Yeah. Yeah. And the journey. So it is a little tough, but I do enjoy even giving this thing a bath, you know, which I don't, I don't <laughs> like, you know, wash the thing all the time, but giving it a bath to come out here, it's like, uh -huh. it, it makes me excited because it really is nice. You know, if you yeah. look at all the detail, the fit and the finish, it really yeah. is a very, very well put together car. It is. It, it really is. And I'll tell you, you know, kudos to you and Ed, because I've seen the, the, you know, obviously what Ed put together too. And, and Ed had contacted me about this car and what you guys were put together. And it was just hard to fathom when he was telling me about the, all of the NOS parts and everything else. I, I think it's phenomenal. And I think it's awesome that you do bring it out and that you do show it to people because this is how people can appreciate, you know, yeah. a well done car. And uh, yeah, no, congratulations, man. Yeah, this well, is cool. thank you so much. Very cool. So what? Yeah. So seriously, what, what what's next on your list, man? I mean, do you have a? Because also, if you guys don't know it, this guy's got some amazing buses, uh, you know, barn doors. So yeah. Uh, yeah, you got some cool stuff, man. Yeah. What's what's next? <laughs> a couple. I'd, a couple. I'd, I'd like a double cab. So I'm, really? Yeah. So I'd like, like to a get a bins a, or no, no. I need a bins. I okay. mean, it'd be nice to get a glass tail light double cab. And so oh, yeah. I don't. You know, it's like you you always want. I mean, it's. It, Optimum, you find a nice original paint, original car, and you right. don't do this because I don't know how many of these I could possibly do because yeah. they are, they are, it's kind of a monster to restore a car. Oh, yeah, well, especially a, a deluxe, you know, I mean, a 23 one, a double yeah. door, yeah, no, absolutely. That's why I always say panel buses yeah. are the easiest thing to do. Yeah, right? yeah. You've got a seat, some cardboard paint. Yeah, yeah not, not much. And then if you do a barn door panel, you got like a dash pod, right? And a motor, and then you're done. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so Ed's radium bus was easy then, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a whole nother ball game. So I don't know about know. that one. That's like a, yeah. So double cab. All right, people, if you guys have an original paint double cab out there, glass yeah. taillight, yeah. he's your guy. Well, Matt, this, seriously, this is really, really cool. And I'll tell you, I've seen this bus a couple of times, and every single time that I look at it, I'm just, I'm blown away. It brings such a big smile to many people's faces and just, it's, it's awesome, man. So yeah, well yeah, done, thank you guys. well done Appreciate and uh, yeah. congratulations. So there you go, you guys, just another hey, amazing car. If you ever see Matt, Matt doesn't like to talk by the way. So if you ever do see him <laughs> in a car show, you know, just a heads up, but uh, Matt's a great guy, you guys, yeah. whether in Europe or here, go greet him, say hi. Yellow. Yukon Yellow. Oh, yeah, my favorite color. Yeah. That's nice. It's been painted. The original paint didn't last very long uh -huh. in Germany. Uh -huh. Within three years, we had it repainted. Yukon Yellow. Yukon Yellow, <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, we'll let you back out.
That's okay. To use here at Capistrano Volkswagen, and have we got a story for you. I'm standing here next to Mimi, and Mimi actually bought her Volkswagen right here at this dealership when it was Bill Yates back in the day. So yeah. Mimi, this this is incredible, and it's it's fantastic that you actually brought this out. Tell tell our viewers a little bit about this. I drive the car all the time. I was married 70 years. My husband's been gone for two years. Let me tell you, in the 70 years that we were married, this is the only brand new car we ever had. And I still <laughs> got it. <laughs> and it's my car. <laughs> that is fantastic. And I just saw you backing it out of what most people would think it's a nice little tight spot. And I mean, flawless. It's, it's amazing. It, and if it's not too rude of me, can I ask your age? Yes, I'm 90 years old. You guys, 90 years old. You look fantastic, you. let me tell you. And the fact that you're still driving a standard. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's Stick a lot of kids shift. today yeah. that don't know how. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, this is incredible. So uh, explain to our viewers, when, when, uh, when did the interest come about as far as getting a Volkswagen and what were you hoping to actually get? Well, I had, uh, I had a brother that had a bought now. Volkswagen from Felix in LA. Okay. And he was so enamored with it. And we had one that was a little bit earlier than this, but it, 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 it didn't really suit us that well. So we, I bought the 70 and that was the end. I mean, there was no more <laughs> Volkswagens. This was the best in the world. Oh, that's fantastic. And now, I mean, it's, it's interesting seeing it. It's in pristine condition. Uh, what did you decide to do over the years? I see that it's got a couple different uh, add-ons like the, the glass. It looks like you've got some uh, etching on there. The wheels have been changed. Well, when the wheels came right from here, we, my husband says we got to dress it up a little. So <laughs> all of the extras that were put on it were put on before we drove it out of the lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that but, is um, awesome. But anyway, um, the windows, when we first got it, we took it to an old German man, and he actually took the windows and cut them on the wheel to oh, get wow. the, put, put the design on there. Oh, very cool. All right. Would you mind showing us the inside? Sure. The only thing that's not original in here is it came with the high back seats. And being that I was so short, I, I said, you know, I said, I need the lower seats. So we changed them out. But other than that, it's all it's all original. Oh my gosh, that is something else. The interior is pristine. Yeah, it is. This is so cool. I mean, this is something else. Now I've got to ask. I'm assuming that every time you probably go fill it up or you drive around, are people always asking if you want to sell it? Oh yes, all the time. <laughs> and when I fill it up at Costco, they run over to help me. Oh really? Oh yeah. <laughs> let me help you. I've seen this car in here before. Oh, let me help you. And so they. <laughs> They help me gas it up. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, I'll tell you, you know, it's not every day that you actually see, you know, first of all, early Volkswagens, it's fun to see, but to see the original owner and still driving and still going at it. You know, I have to tell you one thing. My husband sort of got onto the Porsches. So he had, on his way home from work, he saw a Porsche in San Juan, it was for sale. He bought it right on the spot. He came home and I said, what do we need another car for? <laughs> he says, we're going to sell a Volkswagen. <gasps> I said, oh, no, we're not going to sell the Volkswagen for a Porsche. I said, <laughs> that, that car was mine. It was meant, it meant and bought for me. And uh -huh. I said, I'm going to keep it. Oh, so that's fantastic. It stayed in the family. Good for you. <laughs> and you definitely have taken great care of it. Now, I do have to ask, now the plate says Mimi 70, but do you have a nickname? Is, is it a he, is it a she car? Do you have a nickname for it? Or just Lovey. me? Lovey. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's awesome. That <laughs> right. is awesome. Right. Oh, it's been such a good car, such a good car. That's so neat. That How many is... miles have you driven this car? Uh, the original engine, and it's only, it went 400,000 miles. Oh my goodness. And it only conked out about one mile away from our house. <laughs> I called my husband. He was there in a minute. And we had it towed up to the house and took it to, to uh, the repair man. Um, but uh, 
And so right now it's just just got a little more than a thousand miles on it. Oh wow! A new engine. We all had right. it rebuilt, so it's all from oh, scratch, really. That is great. So you're going to put another four hundred thousand yep. on it then? Huh? Yep. <laughs> I hope I last that long. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you, this this is incredible. And I, I think it's definitely an inspirational story. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty wild for our viewers to actually see this and, and understand the passion. We were just inside the dealership talking about the passion that people have for their cars. Oh, yeah. And you are a testimony to that. Yeah, really. I opened the garage door and I said, oh, you darling bug. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Just a love affair between us, right? Oh, that's, that right. is great. That is and, great. And I keep it washed and polished and the whole works. Well, you've done a great job and I hope that uh, you enjoy many, many, many more years with it and many more miles. Well, thank you. I, you know, I've got about three people that want to buy it. <laughs> okay. So I won't have any <laughs> four. <laughs> uh, four. There we right. go. Yeah. Yeah. Miles here, right. the uh, right. gentleman that owns the dealership would be definitely in line. Yeah, yeah, this 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 is something else. I'll tell you, you've done a, a fantastic job, and your husband's looking down from heaven right now, just smiling big time. Yep, I still have all the paperwork on it, all the original paperwork, the sales receipt. Oh my the, gosh, that is great. Yeah. That is great. Well, yeah. congratulations to you well, and to Lovey, and thank you. I can't thank you enough for for sharing the story with us. I, so, feel, I feel so honored. Oh my so gosh, honored. are you kidding me? We're the ones that are honored. Thank you. Thank <laughs> it's you. not every day that we actually meet. Actually, I've never met anyone like you that has had their car for this long. People see the wheels and I say the wheels came with the car. Uh -huh. And for mag wheels, we've never had one single speck with them. And they've gone all of those miles. And they, to my thinking, they're as good as the day they were put on. There you go. It's just as strong. and. Yeah, and cool looking too. I like the yeah. wheels. Right, yeah. Right. Well, you know, you are a bit of a rebel, you <laughs> yeah. know, so oh, yeah, they kind of go with it. <laughs> I know, uh, but you know what? I I don't push it beyond its limits. I generally drive either in the first lane or the next one over, and I just take my time. Yeah. And I watch around. No one's going to get too close to me, and uh, so I drive it with love. That's that's fantastic, and that's why it's loved you back for so long. Yeah, really, so, really. Yeah, no, that's that is so neat. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you so much, thank Mimi. You. A you pleasure to meet you. Yeah, so you could just park it here. Okay. So this is great. All, All right. right. Well, there you go, you guys. If you want some inspiration, let me tell you, Mimi is definitely an inspiration here for the passion for the car, the passion for driving and just the longevity. And uh, Mimi, I'll tell you, I hope I look as good as you at 90. So well, yeah, thank no, you. fantastic. Thank you. A true pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for being here. All right, you guys, keep watching. Take care.